What's up, guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave, fighting a little bit of a cold, but I'm making my way through it. But <clears throat> thanks everybody for watching my last videos on the amazing Sony native 4K projector, the 20, the 285 ES. Uh, it is absolutely brilliant and uh, an incredible projector that I have not enjoyed enough. So this video here, we're talking about really increasing the performance of your HDR. Now, if you have the Sony 285 and 385, this is definitely going to help you guys out. I'll tell you about it right after this. All right, guys, so basically I'm reading the forums and there is a couple German guys that have developed a new gamma pattern, gamma curve or gamma tweak to the settings of the projector. And what that allows is for the HDR to really pop much brighter while keeping your lamp in low mode, low eco mode, which is awesome because you, these bulbs are not cheap. When they're $500 bulbs. You know, you want to maximize the performance and maximize the life of your bulb. This trick is definitely going to help you guys for your HDR. And I put it on mine. It is amazing. Looks great. Deep black. Great contrast. Great color. Looks phenomenal. So I want to show you guys how to do it. So there's a couple things you need to download. Uh, first, you need to download the, the zip file of the four different gamma curves. There's four of them. There's gamma 7. Uh, actually, is, no, there actually is only three. I think there's three or four. Um, so basically what you do, I'm going to show you. You download that zip file, you uh, un unzip it, right? Then you get a folder of all the gamma curves and the uh, instructions inside. And then you want to download the uh, uploading software for the projector so that way you can load the gamma files from your PC and send them directly to the projector. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically you want to get uh, an Ethernet patch cord go from the projector itself to your router uh, or your switch hook it up and then you want to um, go into the network settings of your projector you want to write down the IP address of your projector and you want to take that IP address and you want to load it in to the software that way the software can see your projector and then that's when you override the projectors gamma curves with these curves all right there's a lot to talk about, so I'm going to show you guys step by step. Let's get started. All right, guys, so you got this amazing projector right here, right? So what you want to do is connect your Ethernet. Click. Plug that in. I just got to take a moment to show you guys the wire maintenance I did. I ran the cinnamon cable up through the projector or the projector mount and right into the ceiling and then I put a different monster power surge protector and replaced the power cord with this thick garden hose of a cable here. That's the uh, monster power power line 400 series and uh, it's quite the beast of a cable. Only the best for my projector. This thing is awesome. It is solid, solid power cable. It is badass. Anyway, all right. So the other end of my cable here. Skull. All right, so I'm going to hook this up to my Ethernet switch back there. And once I do that, then we'll go into the computer and uh, get it set up. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so once you get the projector on, you want to go down to your network settings and then go to your uh, IPv4 setting and then grab that IP address. All right, got some animals upstairs here. So write down the IP address and then take that info 
back to your projector. Now one thing to keep in mind is you want to have something playing on the screen. So just put like your Blu-ray player or some device that has an image on the screen. And one thing to keep in mind on your remote, you see right now, come on, focus. Right now I'm in reference mode. And what I use reference mode for is just regular TV and SDR content. Now, you want to choose a picture setting that you're just going to use for only HDR, right? That's it. So what I do is I use Film 1. Okay, my film, Cinema Film 1 is always going to be for HDR and the gamma curve that we're implementing. So that way, Film 1 is always HDR, and I go to reference when I'm doing uh, standard uh, definition, or SDR. All right, so I'm going to go back to Film 1, click... All right, now I want to put something on the screen, and there we are. All right, so we have our Blu-ray player up, and now we're going to go to the computer. All right, actually, before I do that, we're going to menu, make sure Cinema Film 1. There's a couple things you got to do. All right, Cinema Black Pro, contrast is going to be high, lamp control low, I'm actually going to move my contrast down to 70 because that's what they actually recommend 70. 70 for that. And I'm going to go sharpness at 30. Now, expert setting. Oh, let me go back. You want to go uh, custom 5. And you want to put in these settings 27 plus R, 10 plus for uh, green. And uh, 10 plus for blue. Put those in your gain settings for custom 5. And then we go to expert setting. And so those are the four. Gamma 7 through 10. Those are going to be the custom gamma curves that we're going to put in, right? So gamma 7 is your, your, your moderate brightness. When you go 8, it goes brighter. 9 brighter. And then 10 is going to be a, uh, the brightest which I didn't want to clip anything, so I'm going to put it at 9. So that, that does just fine for me. All right, so that's what you got to do in the settings. Uh, oh, a couple more things. Okay. Everything here is going to be off, right? Turn off, off, and especially HDR. You want to turn that off because if you have it on or auto, uh, it's not going to it's not gonna work. The custom curves won't work properly. And then make sure you're on color space BT2020. Okay? All right, so everything is set in the projector now. Let's load it up in the computer. All right. All right, guys. So now that we're on the computer, the two pages you want to go to, the first one is Magenta Cloud. And I'll put this link in my description of how to get the custom HDR files. And this is actually version 2. They released the first one a while back, and this is the newest one that just came out. So you click on that, and you download that file, put it on your desktop, because you want to unzip it and open up the folder. The second website is going to be the Sony support where you're going to download the image director software. So all you do is go to this website and you click this download now. Okay? Those are the two you want to do. Now this operating system, the one I'm using is 64-bit. Uh, you might have, I don't know if you have 32-bit or whatnot, but the one I use is 64-bit, so this is the file that works for me. Alright, so you're going to get this zip file here, right, when you download it, and then you're going to unzip it. And you're going to get this folder here. So when you click on that, you're going to get the, the instruction uh, instructions here to implement it. And you have gamma 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, So those are your gamma files. And then your image director file is a zip file as well. And you want to un up open that, and that will give you the image director. And that's when you go into the file and you click on the application. And that's what uh, do downloads the file and uploads it. Okay, so once you do that, then you click on the shortcut and it opens up the image director. Now it's trying to connect. And it, right now it says it's not connected because the IP address has changed. So i got to put in the new IP address. And that's going into settings. And then you go to network settings.
don't know why it's taking a while, but it's processing. All right, and just press OK, and you want to put in your IP address of the projector here. So once you put in the IP address, you click OK. All right, now we're in. Okay, it says network is OK, we're ready. It's got your projector model number right in the bottom corner. So now what you do is right here it says gamma table select. You want to start at 7. Okay, because so remember you have four custom gamma settings on the projector. So you start at gamma 7, and then what you do is you go up this little folder here, and you want to open right you want to open your custom folder and there are your four gamma settings in that folder so I'm gonna click on seven double click it there's the gamma curve and when you want to send it to your projector you just press send that's it right you send it it goes to the projector then when you do it for the next one go to gamma eight go back to open then you click on 8, then it changes the curve a little bit, and then you send it, right? Keep doing that. Go to 9, find it, send it, go to 10, find it, send it, all right? Then you have the four custom gamma curves in the projector ready to use. And that's it, guys. Disconnect, and that's it. So then you can enjoy custom HDR gamma curves in low lamp mode and it's going to really shock you guys once you put it in there. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I'm Raf in the Raf Cave. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share. And uh, if, you're not, if you're new to the channel, please uh, hit that subscribe and bell notification when the next video comes out. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. Enjoy your projector. Native 4K quality. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Skull.